Hey everybody, Brian and Artie here at Striking Results Pro Shop, here to continue our series on becoming a better bowler. Uh, today we're going to be talking about thumb grip tape. As you can see here, we have two different types. We have white grip tape, and then we have the black smooth grip tape. The white is a little bit textured, um, and there's quite a few different varieties. This is the two we're going to show you today. Um, B, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the uh, grip tape a bit. All right, so like Artie said, this black tape is a little thinner, a little smoother. Um, used a uh, primarily on the back side of the thumb, but it can be used on the front. The white is a little rougher um, and a little thicker. Um, primarily, I use the white one for gripping purposes on the front, um, and it's my personal favorite. Um, why don't I show you how I install it in the ball? Okay, so first I wanna do is find the sides of my thumb. So I kinda eyeball it to where I can see where my thumb's gonna enter, because I wanna get it on the flat part there, okay? Um, typically you can use a screwdriver. Um, I don't really recommend a pair of scissors, but some people use a pair of scissors. Me, I'm going to pull it off the backing. I'm going to use that, put my thumb on the bottom, or finger on the bottom. I'm going to fold this in half. So I'm going to use this as my tool. So I usually don't carry around a screwdriver. So I'm going to fold this in half, and I'm going to place the curved part on the shiny back of the tape. And then from there, I'm going to kind of fold it just a little bit with the ends. Try not to touch the top part. You can touch the bottom. And then I'm going to go right in there to where my sides of my thumb was. And I'm going to place that tape down in there and kind of push down on it so it's kind of nice and in there. Now, after I get the first piece in there, right where I want it, I like two pieces, three pieces, depending on how you know, how much my thumb is either shrunk or swollen, but I'm gonna layer the next one slightly down a little bit from the first one. So again, we're gonna fold that in half, place that round part on the shiny back. I'm gonna fold this in half a little bit. And I'm gonna put it about a 16th of an inch lower than the top one. And as you can see, it's kind of layered in there a little bit. So that way, if my thumb swells up when I'm bowling, I can take one piece of tape off at a time. That way it's always fitting just right. So that's a really, really good way to put the uh, tape in the ball and it, it'll help it last a little bit longer for sure. Um, one of the big things you wanna pay attention to is that we're all kind of built differently. Sometimes our thumb will shrink and swell as we bowl or from day to day or even for the time of year weather-wise. So, you always want to ensure that you have flexibility in your thumb to maintain the same type of feel. Now, these tapes come with different characteristics. This black smooth tape helps that thumb get out of the ball a little quicker, um, and it's a little bit thinner, so you know it, it, it creates a different type of feel uh, coming out of the ball. The texture tape has a little bit more texture, and so it creates more friction, and it causes that thumb to exit the ball a little slower, giving you a little bit more control. But Again, some people may not like that. You've just got to figure out what's right for you. Like B likes using the white tape. I tend to use something that comes out a little faster. Um, but dialing it in, experimenting is the only way you're going to know. And doing that, you can create a really consistent release regardless of how your thumb is shaped that day or how you're feeling. So try it out, talk to your pro shop, talk to your coach, whatever you need to do, and just experiment. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please click, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.